Hello and welcome to the Vormetric video on the Vormetric content pack for McAfee ESM. This is the second in a series of videos dedicated to integration between Vormetric and McAfee ESM. The new Vormetric content pack for McAfee ESM provides you out-of-the-box tools allowing you to monitor Vormetric events and provide metrics to investigate key events from external sources. It applies to the Vormetric Data Security Manager as well as the McAfee Advanced Correlation Engine. The items provided in the new Vormetric Content Pack include items under Alarms, Correlation Rules, Reports, and Views. Now let's take a look at some of these items. Here is a view of the Event Dashboard. This is one of the views that's provided in the Content Pack. The content pack includes other views, including correlated events, denied impersonated users, and impersonated user actions. In the event dashboard view, we actually see a summary of everything that's going on within our Vormetric environment. That includes summaries of rules, rules that went through accesses, rules and policies, uh, and the decisions that came out of those rules. Uh, as well as regular logging events that the DSM or Data Security Manager from Vormetric recorded. Now this window is the primary window of this view and all the other windows are based on this particular window, on this first window. So for example, the event subtypes. For each of these rule summaries you, act you actually can see the event subtypes uh, of each of these summary of these of each of these entries. So, for example, you can see how many have passed uh, the access controls, how many were alerted, how many were denied. Uh, following that, uh, events event categories that are linked to event subtypes are shown as well. How many were audited? How many were alarms and by definition were audited? And what else uh, was recorded? Any other uh, event categories that were recorded. The next window is active users uh, which is bound in turn to the event categories window and the active users window shows us the names of the users or identities of all the users who have performed the activities uh, you've seen in the previous windows that you see in the previous windows and you see uh, how many of those actions uh, and you see how many actions were performed by each of these users and now you can see in the next window for hosts for each of those users or for all those users in the active users window you can see which hosts those activities were performed on and how many activities per host then event distributions all these activities uh, are shown across a chart here a bar chart showing you the distribution of these activities over time also something bound to the host window is the applications. You can see for in this window which applications initiated the actions that have been audited here. So in this case we could see some of them were from Explorer, Windows Explorer, others were from bin bash, uh, here's WordPad, strings command, update db, etc. Also another window bound to hosts are the commands that were run. So the lower level uh, lower level commands that are that are visible in the at the operating system level. Okay. These are POSIX level actions that are the same across all OS's and you see their distribution as well. Uh, if you want to zero in on the events you can actually see each of the events that have occurred and get even more detail on each of these events. So if we scroll down here, we're able to pop up the details window here and see more information on the selected event. So for example, this fail to contact host event uh, has a little more information that will appear down below under details. Um, and you can actually see the syslog packet that was sent across the wire to McAfee ESM. And let's let's select another one to see if there's anything more interesting, such as reject access. Oh, this reject access is a denied event. 
we might want more information about that and so we select that event and we can see the actual message that came across the wire uh, the policy etc that was uh, encountered uh, and where within the policy there was a match but we can see additional details as well uh, parsed out information uh, about this activity so if we look at this window to the bottom left, we can see names of policies that were invoked during all the ex accesses that we see above. And we can see the results, meaning the matching within the policy, where within the policy we've had matches. And if we select one or another, we can actually see uh, for that policy how many times uh, we met rule number two and how many times we met rule number four. So that gives you a lot of information right there. So that's an example of the event dashboard. Uh, you can also, also view impersonated actions. This is an action where, for example, on a Linux system, an administrator impersonated another user. That is, they switched to another user ID without entering that user's passwords. This gives you good detail on who's trying to access which information that they shouldn't be accessing. There are two additional views. There are also alarms or, or alerts that you can use. Uh, correlated events uh, are not shown on my system right now because I don't have the correlation engine running, uh, but that will allow you to correlate activities here with activities across your network. This has been the Vormetric video showing the Vormetric content pack for McAfee ESM provided by Intel Security. If you'd like more information on the Vormetric Content Pack, please refer to the McAfee Knowledge Base, Article KB86950, at the link shown below. Thank you.